Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday to the Midweek Shave. Hope you're all doing okay. I hope you've had a fantastic week so far and uh, having some great shaves. You may notice I'm in a different bathroom today because my the normal bathroom is um, having a bit of maintenance being cleaned and such so I thought well I'll come into this one. It's a bit bigger so there might be a bit of echo in the sound so I'm sorry about that. Um, so we'll get on with it. Today I am using the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Fantastic razor. I love this razor. Um, old. Look at the quality of that. To this day. Good weight to it. Good grip. Adjustable. Barn doors. Twist to open. TTO. And I'm using a brand new Gillette Super Thin Blade which comes in that package, good little blades these, uh, brand new blade and it's on setting number 7 so I open it first then I adjust it to the mark 7 and then close it up tight, there we go and using the Derby shaving soap stick uh, I've taken the top off and first impressions it's uh, there's a hint of arco in it but it's slightly stronger scent and it's um, a pleasant scent, it is nice. I'm not sure if there's a hint, of, is it lemon or something? Something, I don't know, it's lovely. Um, heard some good things about this. So I'm going to rub it onto the face, onto the whiskers as you can see here. I've just come out of the shower, but I'll wet my face. And then um, lather up with a brush. I'm using the Samog 820. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Because the whiskers will take the soap off. Plenty of soap on. Rub it in. Yeah, so I hope you've had a good week and some good shaves. I always dip the soap in the water to use the glide. Uh, we've had some lovely weather here in North Wales lately. Um, a bit strange sometimes because it's sunny and hot in the sun, but if you move into the shade, it's cold. And uh, this seems the scent is nice. Rubbing in really lots of soap. Right, let's see how that goes. Let's lovely shake the brush off. Not too much water. And uh, away we go. Mmm. That's a lovely brush. Look at that. That is lovely. Wow. Thick, creamy. Oof, lovely. Isn't that quick for a soap, for a hard soap? Mmm. stop <laughs> that'll do that'll do right give the razor a rinse we're going to the first pass there's a slight overhang on this razor very very slightly just to be aware of but uh can we go on here oh lovely 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 Wow, that is thick. That's lovely. Mm. 
mince meat is making it. Oh, that's lovely slickness after. Been dying to try this a long time and I'm glad glad I'm trying it. Let me just go over that again. I put a bit bit of soap on there so it's uh oh that's nice. So the Gillette Slim Adjustable. On setting number seven, the Gillette Super Thin Blade. Oh, that's lovely. Wow. Still a lot of soap on there, see, look. That's lovely. Fantastic. Very thick cream. Creamy. Look at that. A bit more water. Just a dab. Well, I'll tell you something, this is amazing for a hard soap. By just putting it on the skin like that, it turns it into this. It's like shaving cream, the ease of it. Excellent. Good protection, performance, scent. And just by that one sort of going over the face, has it left enough soap in the brush to do three passes. I should think. It would be amazing. Right, second pass across the growth. And the razor, as always, performing. Excellently. Nice blade that. The car there's good slickness. Leaves a good film after the uh, you've passed. That's lovely. Yeah. History, history, history. Well, I tell you what, it certainly leaves soap on the face. That is amazing. So I just dip the brush again under the water. Mm. Probably just about enough, actually. Not quite, so I'm just going to put some more on the brush like that. Because the last pass is the most sensitive, tender of passes, especially if you've got um, sensitive skin. 
So that should do it. I should uh, fulfill the last pass. Yeah, that's lovely. But if you run out of soap, just uh, I didn't put a lot on the brush then. And of course, the longer you go, the thicker it'll become. You see that? It's a very pleasant soap, very pleasant. Excellent, right onto the final pass, which of course is against the growth. Good audio feedback. This is very nice. Excellent slickness. You watch this. Yeah. And what that does, it gives enough slickness so you don't feel the blade but very lightly you can just pick up the smooth bit, you know, the bits you may have missed. I need to do here again in a minute, but still let's get the moustache area. Listen to that. That's the sound you want. And then we turn, so... As you know, that's my my little invention, my own little trick, if you like, because he is so sensitive and plucky, I couldn't just go straight in like that. So I start sideways and gradually twist the razor. And that way I'm getting against the growth pass, but without the uh, irritation or pain really, or the risk of a jug and the cut and that is lovely oh we've got a bit of a pickup going on here <laughs> yeah hope you're having some fantastic shaves made me laugh in the comments um how some people are saying to themselves right i'm not buying no more stuff now that's it Straight onto the computer, bang, ordered. And then they're wondering then how to tell the wife. Or they're sort of looking out for the postman. <laughs> uh, right, just rinse off. Lovely. The thing I can notice is the the slickness still on the skin, and normally you only get that sort of that good slickness with a shaving cream. I find personally, but not with the Derby soap. That is, look at that. That's a lovely close shave. Right, are you excited? Because I am. You ready for the cologne? Da da! Lucky Tiger Aspen. Aftershave since 1935. Flip top. Now get your nostrils there. Hey! Eh? <laughs> 
Hey, put your wrist out, I'll put some on. And it is blue. Is it going to stain? I don't know. Mmm, just a tingle. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Hey? God, that's a... Uh... That's very sort of, mm, oh God, a typical what you want aftershave to smell like. It's got a hint of the forest fresh I use, that sort of down that road, if you like, uh, a woody sort of musty. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, that, that is lovely. And it's gone, there's a lot of alcohol in that, I think, because uh, you can feel a good tingle then, but it's gone already. Oh, that is lovely. Look at that. Lucky Tiger Aspen. Fantastic. And another new... <laughs> I've gone berserk as well, buying stuff. You just can't help it. It's an addiction. We should have help from the NHS for it. Right. Arco. Nothing new there, but this. And these were recommended by a friend of mine. This is extra sensitive. This range uh, by Graham, good friend of mine. Um, he uses it because he does head shaving. Um, and he swears by this, you know, the aftershave, Arco aftershave balm. So this one is extra sensitive. So let's give it a go. That's what it looks like. Oh, that is nice. Put a bit too much on here. Yeah, put a bit too much on there. Wait a minute. Let me just dry my hands. So you don't need a lot of that. It's just like the Arco cream, but this is thinner. There's a lovely, well, not much of a scent, just a hint of a scent, just a creamy scent. I wouldn't expect it to have much if it's an extra sensitive because it won't have um, sort of scents in it, if you like. Oh, that's lovely. I'm one happy chappy today. <laughs> so, just to recap, and then I'm going to show you something else in a minute. We used the Gillette Slim Adjustable Double-Edged Razor, Twist to Open, Barn Doors and um, Butterfly Opening with the Gillette Super Thin Blade, brand new, performed perfectly. Well, it should do it. It's a Gillette. It's made for these, isn't it? And performed perfectly. And I used this razor on setting number seven. Lovely. Goes up to number nine. But that was, that was nice, that was lovely. Um, Use the Samoog 820 brush and the Derby shaving soap, hard shaving stick. Fantastic, onto the face. It did two passes and then I, because it was a bit thin on the last pass, if you could see, just put the brush on the soap, gathered a bit more up and then did the last pass. Fantastic, used hardly any soap. It's very, it's similar to Arco, but it has a stronger scent, a nice scent, and it's thick and creamy, fantastic. Good slickness, good performance, and for the price of these things, to consider how long they last you, it's just amazing, you know, if you, it's the same as the Palm Olives and, you know, the Arcos, you can't beat it. It's the old way of shaving, and um, it still works today, if not better than today, really. Um, and then, rinsed off with water, and I used the Lucky Tiger Aspen um, aftershave. A truly masculine, fresh, spicy aroma. See that? It's lovely. 
Let's have another sniff there, go on. Go on. <laughs> Mad, aren't we? I was gonna say, Aunt we, but it's not, it's not you, it's me. And then, Arco Extra Sensitive Aftershave Balm. Fantastic. Loved it. Um, and that is about it. But before you go, I want to show you something. I was talking the other day about old fashioned soaps and stuff like that. And someone left in the comments that you can buy, still buy the old this old soap I'm going to show you in the supermarkets. And I said, yes, I know, I've seen it there. Been there for years since I was a kid. And it's this soap it is. I don't know if it's, uh, it's Wright's traditional soap. If you see that, with coal tar fragrance since 1860. It's not shaving soap, it's a hand or washing soap. Oh, but the smell is just one of these smells that takes you, because a lot of people used this years ago, and it's just one of those smells, it just whisks you back. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's weird, and it's lovely to have it to this day. So if you like, um, if you're in the supermarket in the UK anyway, or any shop, just look out for that. Coal tar. It might not be right, but just look for coal tar soap. You know, I don't know if it's called that in other countries, America, um, but it's fantastic. It's just a, yes, yeah, look at that. Soothing, cleansing, antiseptic soap. Oh, but it's a fantastic old soap. So I thought I'd just share that with you. We still do have old names and old soaps and old scents still still going, still going strong and it's fantastic to see it. So I hope you enjoyed watching the shave as much as I enjoyed filming it and oh that's smoother. Put your hands on that. Go on. On my face if you don't mind. Thank you. In me ear. That's lovely isn't it? That's a lovely close, very close smooth shave wow very happy so have a great rest of this week uh, i hope the sun is still shining for us um, as we head into the summer now and uh, probably be back in the old bathroom or my the normal bathroom not old for the next uh, video and it won't be so echoey i hope um and that's about it yeah so take care of yourselves and um I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave.